And there you go. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Machine Dana, and today we're going to learn how to do spin wheels with Streamlabs Online. More specifically, we're going to be adding it to Streamlabs OBS, but you can add this to OBS Studios, XSplit, OBS Live all of the softwares okay you can add this to all of the softwares and all this is is a spin spin wheel a little bit like family fortunes family fortunes was it family fortunes the one where they spin the wheel and they win prizes you can add it onto your stream click a button spins the wheel and you win stuff or if you're really clever you lose stuff because people love it when you're in pain it's like a sadistic thing with twitch and youtube gaming viewers seem to really love it when the broadcaster is in some sort of like pain or dismay but anyway you can use the wheel to give yourself stupid things to do or experience i've done this quite a few times but i've used a third party wheel i've never actually added the wheel component as a browser source onto my stream using streamlabs obs in this video i'm going to show you how to do that these things are highly customizable you can add the categories you can add as many or as few options as you want on the wheel you change the colors the size like the thinness of the lines that go around the wheel if you find this useful please give it a thumbs up i'd love you if you do that also if you want to subscribe by all means do so if you got any questions at all check me out at twitch.tv or slash machine dana or even just join the discord in the description let's go Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do here, visit streamlabs.com. This is regardless of whether or not you're adding this to Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio or Expert or whatever. You do need to visit this. This is to configure the wheel itself. We're going to click on widgets. If you can't find it, just do a search for widgets because sometimes they mess around with the layouts. Click on spin wheel and here it is, kind of the stuff to configure it. We're going to all these details and make a really fun wheel now, just as a way of example. But the standard one looks a little bit like like that it's a bit boring to be honest there's a there's a button just here you can't really see it because the camera just to the right here but you literally click this wheel and it will spin the wheel and then there's like a message that appears okay that's it that's the wheel congratulations you've won a water bottle So today we're going to be basically customizing this and going through all the different options here. So you can add this as a browser source using the copy widget URL here. You're able to paste this into any other software, but within Streamlabs OBS, this is kind of built in as a widget integrated within. And I'll show both methods within this video. First of all, I'm not liking the options here, so I'm just going to literally kill all of these options. These are the options that go on the wheel themselves. So let's start by adding like a, 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 like a dildo. People might want to win a dildo. We'll add um, a hammer some bath water you can't add categories using the add category button oh donut yeah we'll leave donut on there leftover chicken nuggets who doesn't like chicken nuggets so we can color all of these options we want the dildo to be like pink obviously the hammer we want it to be like like a brown color maybe yep wonderful the bath water is gonna be i mean skeggy like urine colored the donut is 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 red and, and and the leftover chicken nuggets are also like kind of beige like that color we've got a lot of beige in there i'm going to change the hammer color to to like like i don't know purple there you go we've got a purple hammer now all we need to do is add the sections here and you can add like like two two of them will literally be a 50 50 split so this splits the full wheel into how many sections you've added the sections are just basically the categories but you can add multiples of them so if you wanted two hammers but only one dildo to make it happen Clipping that out of context would be quite funny. So we're going to add section, add section, add section. Just, just keep adding the dildos. We've got like a decent amount here, but instead of that many dildos, I'm going to add some bath water. I'm going to add some leftover chicken nuggets, another um, donut. Basically, it's just we're in dildo heaven here. I'm not sure what the sliders actually are. This could be the quantity of something that you win, or it might actually be the weighting. In other words, you don't necessarily need to add this many sections. For instance, if I wanted one, two, three, four, five, six, six dildos, I could just add one section with a with a six. But as I've already added the sections, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm just going to jumble up the order a little bit. There we go. So they're nicely spread out now. This is the result template. You can customize this text. The result is just the variable parameter, and then you've got the static text. So you won. It's fine. This is a little bit boring though. So maybe like add congrats. 
Um, the font, you can choose a font for this. Orbitron, a little bit more interesting. And then the font size. There's no previewer here. Normally you get like a previewer, but you can always change the settings at a later stage. So don't worry too much about that. The font weight is the thickness of the font. The label text height and the label text width. This just defines what the text actually looks like on the wheel. Like how tracked the text is. The result color and the border color. So the text color here is the color of the actual text on the wheel. And then the result color and the border color of the result. These are the text when you when the pop-up appears to say what you've won. This is what the text looks like. I'm going to pink and black for the results, but I'm going to go white for the inner text. Because white feels like it would contrast pretty well with most of those. Maybe not the yellow, but we'll see. You can then choose the speed of the wheel. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. And then the slow down rate. So that's the rate at which it slows down towards the end. We'll just make it a little bit more prolonged. So this timeout's pretty straightforward. If you set it to zero the wheel will be shown at all times. You're having to control whether or not it's visible with the browser source by clicking the eyeball on Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio or whatever to actually show or not. Whereas this here is like a kind of a soft way of showing it whereby, for instance, after, I don't know, seven seconds, the wheel will disappear. I'm just gonna leave it to zero for now because then I can manually turn on the wheel using the source, perhaps with a stream deck or something like that. We then got the option to make a ticker. I think that's pretty boring. This is just the image that shows like where they've won. Like it's the pointer, okay? This is the pointer. I'm gonna change media. I've carefully curated a pointer that is suitable for this particular wheel. So that's the one that we're gonna use. Select eggplant. So th this ticker size just defines how big you want the um, ticker to be. <laughs> I think in my case, we're probably down here somewhere. Ticker tone. I just want to talk about this. This is actually the sound effect that plays. This is an OGG file, but it can play like MP3 files. And this is a URL. So CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. CDNs are basically just servers. Uh, for instance, Amazon Web Server, Google Servers, and so on. They are content delivery networks. So you'll see CDN wherever you see high volumes of assets that are delivered to the web. So there's obviously a, a Streamlabs CDM service. I don't know what they're using for their CDM. You can upload, I think, a ticker tone onto Streamlabs' servers, but here, to be honest, there's loads of other ways you can do this. Okay, so now we need to locate a sound file, a hosted sound file. Now, if you've got a way of hosting MP3 sound files uh, and linking directly to the .mp3, then you can do that, or the .ogg, but there are loads of sources already out there. I use myinstance.com, and this has got loads of sound bites, for instance, like my all-time favorite sound bite, which is... <laughs> Just beautiful. I can now click on this. If I want, I can download the MP3. If I want to host it, add it to like favorites and all that kind of stuff. Now we've got the option here to copy the, the URL for it, but this is an iframe which contains a URL. If we just get rid of the iframe information and copy to the embed information, we see that there's an embedded information here, but this still isn't good enough really to paste in here because it's still copying essentially like a widget. We don't want a widget copied here. We just want the .mp3 hosted file. What I'm gonna do is go back to the main page for this. This. I'm going to right click and go on to page source. Page source shows me all of the code information, including any assets on the web page, including sounds that have been used and wherever they are hosted. I can now do a control F on the keyboard and do a search for MP3. And I can see here that there is the MP3 hosted link. So this is myinstance.com forward slash media forward slash sounds forward slash and then the sheep screen dot MP3. That to me looks more like a direct link to a file. We'll just copy that URL and paste it in a browser. <laughs> And there it is. None of the mess, none of the website. This is purely just a sound effect. I think that will work. So I'm going to just paste that in here as well. Now, the thing to bear in mind with this ticker, ideally it wants to be a really short noise because it loops itself when it spins the wheel. Like a click, 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 click. And then as it slows down, it'll go click, 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 click. So I'm not sure what this is going to sound like. It might sound pretty funny. We'll see. <laughs> You can enable or disable center image. In here, it's just defaulted to my Twitch logo. And you can adjust the center image size. Let's just make that just a touch bigger. You can add a border to the center image and then make that cord as well. I'll leave it white. And then obviously the width of the border. At this point, you can enable or disable uh, custom CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. If you've got a particular theme that you're using that you want to apply a theme to, you can do it here. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a CSS nerd. I'm not going to save those settings there. And the default wheel is now changed. So the default wheel will apply all of those settings. Now what I'm just going to do, I'll show how to add it to Streamlabs OBS in a second. But for now, let's just 
check the look and feel of the wheel. Right, so we've got lots of dildos on there. We've got some bath water, some donuts. The leftover chicken nuggets, the words are a little bit long, but I'm just going to leave it because I can't be bothered. But you might want to try sh shortening it to chicken nuggets but i'm relatively happy with how that looks it's a little bit more on brand it's not as boring we can see as well we've got the uh the peen actually let's make that bigger so i'm just going to adjust the size of this be more realistic save settings refresh the browser source much better <laughs> so now all we have to do is go to the top if we're streaming right now and click spin the wheel which is located just here There you go. <laughs> oh, I won a dildo. <laughs> so that works perfectly. So now I'm actually just going to show how you add that to Streamlabs OBS or as a browser source. First of all, within Streamlabs Online, just copy the URL, then go into Streamlabs OBS or whatever software it is that you're using. You can click Add here. And if it's Streamlabs OBS you're using, you can simply select the spin wheel, add the source, build our wheel. And here we can actually tweak some of the settings if you're in Streamlabs OBS, because this is like a fully integrated service. We can make any changes to it if we want, such as the categories, sections, things like that. Let's click done on that and we can resize it. And if we want, we can stick it below me. So that will now work. But to activate that, we still need to make it viewable. And then we also still need to go into here and click on the spin wheel as well. I'll just delete that. If you want to add this as a browser source, you simply click the plus icon and select browser source instead. We want to add a new browser source. We're going to call it chicken wheel this time. Add source. Now here we simply want to, in the URL, paste the widget URL that we've copied to clipboard. You can adjust width and height and CSS and all that kind of stuff. Now you would go through the same process if you were using XSplit or if you were using like OBS Studio or whatever. Click done on that. And we've got the exact same thing. Can make the micro adjustments to that and then all you have to do is like create good content <laughs> chicken wings there you go how you can add a customized wheel spin wheel family fortunes dildo chicken nuggets wheel to your stream i'm really keen to see how you guys use this i just want one last thing okay my wife bought me this for christmas which is an there's an actual wheel in there in this thing and this was the inspiration for the video and they don't look like much but honestly the carolina reaper one the one on yellow in yellow just here is really really hot like she made me eat these on stream I've made a digital version of this. Over to you guys. Let me know how you use this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next vid. Take care.